Anyway, now I'm back on my main computer. I, I have uh, two two desks and three computers. Now I'm back on a main computer. <clears throat> uh, some people may find this interesting as to how to program. Uh, let me turn off. The This is going to have to be a series of clips because the battery will go dead because it takes a long time and it will be so complex. Uh, but anyway, this for the purpose of this video, this will just be two simple pockets. Uh, so I, I already picked generic Haas 3-axis uh, VMC. So the first thing I do, I, I don't know if you can see it. Actually, I don't know if I should let you see what I'm using. So here's here's a basic uh, uh, pocket. Also, I changed the screen lighter so that it doesn't blind out everything where you can't see. Okay. Tool paths, pocket. Okay. Now here I pick chain on a construction plane. And then I, I click I click the lines that I drew and everything you see here I created it so I click the, the lines this is the first pocket uh, 1.250 deep okay there it is now I hit accept now what kind of a pocket okay pocket well, this is just a simple pocket, so it's going to be pocket. Uh, tool. Uh, I already put in 5 16 tool, corner radius 0, uh, tool 1, head 1. Otherwise, the machine doesn't know what to call up what tool. Length offset 1 and diameter offset 1. Feed rate 20. Okay, so I don't need to click accept because that will just close the screen. So now I go to the other parameters. Holder, holder I don't need because I don't use it. I already know what I'm doing. Okay, cut parameters, uh, climb, climb cutting, tip comp, tip, uh, stock to leave on walls. Okay, for the rough out I'll go uh, 0.07. In case the cutter galls, that way it doesn't destroy the wall. Stock to leave on floors, 0.00, I'll go five, five thousandths. I don't need to accept it because it's just going to close the window. Okay, so roughing, what am I going to do? Uh, I, wa I want to go uh, uh, par parallel spiral, and so I click on parallel spiral. Step over percentage, 50% uh, of the cutter is fine, which is 0.15625, that's half of 5 sixteenths. Minimize tool burial, uh, spiral inside to outside, obviously. I could go spiral out in, uh, outside to inside. Tolerance for uh, remachining that sent 5% is plenty good. Okay, entry motion, uh, helix. I don't know if you can see this, but entry motion helix. So minimum radius, I'm, I'm going to go 20%. Maximum radius, 20%. 20% of the cutter diameter. Z clearance. Uh, I'll go, I'll go 0 0.005. XY clearance, uh, 0.00. Eight. Otherwise, it could try to stay too far away from the wall, and it won't. It won't process right. Plunge angle, uh, three degrees is good, because that's the uh, the clearance on the end of the cutter. If you go five or ten degrees, the cutter will go in and it will go. Tolerance, uh, five thousandths is good. Otherwise, the program will be too long. Uh, finishing uh, passes. One spacing ten thousandths spring passes. I'm going to go spring pass. 
cutter compensation is the computer. That way, the if anybody is out there on the machine, they can't mess with it. Finish outer boundary. I'm surprised the battery is uh, going. Okay, lead in, lead out. I'll go 20% uh, because this is a small pocket. 20% lead out. Sweep. 30%. There's no need for it to be 90. Helix height. Uh, zero. And now I click here and it transfers it all over there so it does the same thing. Depth cuts. Click on depth cuts. I can't believe the battery is still going. Depth cuts. Maximum rough step. Uh, uh, hundred thousandths is good. Finish cuts one. Finish cuts one. Finish step. Fifty thousandths is too much. I'll go five. Five thousandths. Uh, depth cut order pocket. Linking parameters. Now here's where the depth comes in. Okay, always click absolute. 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 Clearance uh, 0.1. Retract. Uh, a quarter of an inch is okay. Feed plane. Feed plane is zero. That's where the uh, helix and the feed will start. So feed plane of zero is fine. Top of stock, of course, is zero. Depth, this is 1.25. I hope nobody knows what this item is uh, that I'm machining. Okay, so those are all correct. You're safest to go with absolute. If you hit incremental, God only knows what will happen. Okay. And so that's it. So I click accept. Oh, <laughs> I, f I forgot to put the minus sign. So it's cutting up in the air. Okay. <laughs> Parameters, depth, minus 1.25. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now it shows bad cutter path. That's because I changed the, uh, I changed it. So now I click up here to regenerate. I click up here to regenerate. And there's our pocket. See, there's our pocket. Okay, now, why did it not go into here? It should have. It should have went into there, into here. This is 0.630. That's 1.25. So let's, let's go back to the parameters and find out why it didn't go in there. I mean, this is the way it's done. Uh, cutter to, uh, tool. 0.3125 tool one, that's correct. Uh, okay, that's correct. Cut parameters. Now there's got to be a reason why I didn't go in there. Roughing. Step over. Finishing. Spacing, ten thousandths. Uh, lead in, lead out. That shouldn't have nothing to do with that. Linking parameters. Oh, brother. Okay, why didn't it go into there? Why didn't it go into there? Tool. Tool diameter is correct. 0.3125. Uh, it, it, it's going to be the amount of stock to leave. That I bet there's something the amount of stock to leave. Cut by. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, see, amount to leave, 70 thousandths. No. 
point oh oh seven. <laughs> now it will go in there. But anyway, you're seeing how it's done. So now I will regenerate. See here, I'm going to regenerate. Regenerate. And now it goes in there. See? See there? <laughs> there. There. Now it, now it goes in there. Anyway, it's kind of cool you're seeing this happen just as it's done in real life. You see the helix going down? That's going to be going down in solid metal and it helixes its way in. So now to finish, now I want to finish it because I told it to stay away seven thousandths. Okay, now I want to finish. So what I do is uh, I, I click on this. Uh, oh, brother. What? Yo, oh, I click on this. Right click, copy. I come down here, paste. There. Now I pasted both. So I'll go to this one. I'll go to this one and, uh, and then parameters. Finishing, roughing, finishing, linking parameters, uh, finishing, spacing, uh, oh brother, step over percentage, uh, linking parameters, finishing, what, what the hell is going on? Cut parameters. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now I go zero and zero. Except, and now I regenerate this. Regenerate. And now there's the finishing. I'll show you. Uh, like, like. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So I, I click on this one. I'll, I'll just do this. Um, anyway, now the icon isn't up there for me to take away the solid, but you just have to trust me that down in there, See this finishing pass here. That that goes to 1.250 uh, with with zero material. In other words, it finishes. Anyway, brother, that's all for this one.